This doesn't look good. What are you saying, Brad? I don't think this is gonna go well. This is the definitive edition. It's gotta look the best. Oh, yeah? Well, graphically it looks pretty good. Ew. I mean, things don't look good from, from Lara Croft, is what I'm saying. Oh, I see. But, I, you know, I think actually this is, seems like this might go all right. Oh. Not for this guy. Ew. Uh, this is a Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Uh, wiggling a stick. Out on a... Uh... Oh, I'm pressing the X button. Oh, now I'm shooting a guy in the face. Ooh. Dude, nice place to start, man. Ugh. Gross. Ah. That's like... I don't remember being at that, this being that crazy. That graphic? Where, did, where exactly did you shoot the guy? Don't ask. Questions you don't want uh, to ask. Huh. Uh, this is Tomb Raider Definitive Edition for PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, this yeah. is the Xbox One. Yeah, we're gonna look at both. Uh, what is definitive about this edition? It looks like she's yeah, wearing more eye makeup. It runs in the 1080p. On both platforms. Native? Uh, yes. 1080p native, they're claiming. Um, Tress effects? I think that it's got... Yes? I'd have to compare it to the PC version Let's to be see. sure, but I think it's got the crazy physics hair. Yeah, it looks... It appears to. It looks, not that I'm saying that that stuff is great, but it looks like it has it. Uh, yeah. Because that stuff, I actually wind up turning it off. Yeah, when the, the little bit I saw and played of the PC version, I think I did too. Sometimes it looks really good. Yeah. Other times... I don't think it looks like real hair. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little it's a little over-animated, to be honest. And, like, there are parts where it sort of <laughs> defies gravity and stuff. Or, like, when you're, like, the very beginning, that cruci like, the key scene when you're hanging upside yeah, down. Yeah, exactly. Like, the, the hair is not hanging properly uh, when you're upside down. Look how, well, just how, like, hyper-kinetic it is. It's weird, but... Yeah, uh, so it's got a lot of bounce, you know? Uh, yes, She is a... Sassal Vidal... Keep going. She's a... Pantene Pro V girl. Okay. Well, so am I. Yeah, you're a Pantene Pro V girl? Yep. Uh, I uh, had a friend, we were at a bar in college, and uh, wound up. This girl walked by him, and he grabbed her and said, Jeez. He's Pantene Pro V? What? Is that her hair had, like, brushed by his face. Did she punch him in the face? No, they went up dating for a <laughs> long time. <laughs> what? Yeah, like, through, like, a whole after, after he year. After he grabbed her on but the street? Like, yeah, was, no, no, it was, it was at a bar. Okay. So, oh. he, he was probably inebriated. So you mean, okay, just approached and asked a question. I, I was... Jesus. I was, I was picturing him, like, physically oh. grabbing her by the shoulders. No, well, I think he kind of, like, stopped her as okay. she was walking okay, by. Okay, but, uh, yeah, one of, one of the better pickup lines I've ever heard. Uh... You Pantene Pro-V? I wouldn't try that on Laura Croft by the end of this game. No. What? She, uh, you you tell me not... her face doesn't look a little different to you? Uh, yeah, yeah, so that was the, uh... Oh, what's with the slimy aim? Uh, so that was the other, one of the other big things they were talking about with this definitive edition, is that she now has the definitive face. What is the, the definitive face? I don't know, I haven't, uh... Because I played this on the PC. It's kind of hard to get a, a good camera angle and, here. And, uh, I, I don't... It, she looks different to me, but I'm not 100% sure why. It looks like maybe she's wearing more eye makeup or oh something. Oh god, I can't get close to that. I was trying to get near a wall so I could spin the camera around. Well, I bet I could look up, uh, somebody has a side-by-side. -side. Yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll get... We'll get in a slightly, uh, cooler environment and then try it out. Or maybe I can do it right we, here. You're not noticing it as much? Let's see, there we go. Oh, nope. Oh, can't pull it down. Not quite. That's yeah. not... Not yet. Camera, no, I won't go low enough. Try it later. Well, like I, uh, like yeah, I said, they, I, don't, I don't quite remember what it is, so I couldn't I think, even tell you. I think they said they had, uh... They basically more did, a, did a new face mesh for her, you know? Yeah, more polygons or something like that. Uh... Something like that. Uh, this is kind of near the beginning. You're, yeah, this uh, is not very far in at all. You're, you're uh, kind of just getting your footing in, uh, the beginning of your reign of terror on this <laughs> island. Yeah, sure. This, this, this rot survival tale. Yeah, it was a little, it was a little graphic, that, uh, shooting at the guy in the face to... Yeah, a bit. I'm not sure if they got the intended effect, but you kind of see what they're going for. Still tutorializing a little bit here. It was an article or, or, uh, maybe it was an article, I think maybe it was a radio thing I was listening to about how it was a guy complaining about audiences and movies and directors and how they leave so little to the imagination now uh -huh. uh, how when a guy falls off the building you have to see his face and the terror he's sensing and like, yeah. the audience wants the uh, and, and that, that not being a good thing it reminded me of a kind of the move in video games of it's kind of more watching about, the eyes oh. roll back and yeah. stabbing dudes and it's like 
How many times do you need to show the guy dropping his lightsaber? Like, we get it, he dropped his lightsaber. Just so, the, is that what you're saying? Just the, oh, God! The, the kind of intimate uh, yeah, no, relationship. Yeah, it's, with... it's, like kind of, it's kind of more about what you don't show than what you do, right? Yeah, and I think he was kind oh, of man. more concerned about how, hey, maybe we don't need to be so... Over the top? Sadistic? Yeah, I kind of, the way that they treat her in this game, I felt was a little bit like that. But... Uh, like, there's, like, the, you know, they impale her on that rebar or whatever right at the beginning of the game. Like, sure. is that really necessary? I, you know... Yeah, they, like, they are, I, they're they're pretty cruel. Yeah, like, I, I, it, it, I, I don't want to go as far as to say it gets a little, like, torture pointy oh, or anything, but, like... Yes. I would never even go there. I, I think it's... Well, some of the death animations in this game are insanely graphic. I, I just think that they feel uh, a little out of place, especially when uh, you're on that raft or whatever, or when you go yeah. down the rapids and there's this yeah. pulse thing Yes, out. that was the worst one in the game. It just, uh, like, she, like, shoots straight through her head. Yeah. It's like, well, like, I, I, I get that she's in a, a really, uh, really difficult situation here, you know? You don't have to... You don't have to visit such grievous bodily harm on her all the time. Uh, it's, it's a little crass in some cases, I think. But, like, my argument to that, to the thing I was talking about with movies, is that, you know, in a game, you, you can use it to affect in, in role-playing, right? You're supposed to kind of... If they're trying to put you into the shoes of the character yeah. and see what they see... Like, maybe, you know, if that's supposed to be horrifying for her, you know, that's that's the intended effect, I assume. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, well, to, to I kind think, of show you what, but not the death stuff. That's just uh, like, yeah. You know, actually, if anything, I think like the impalement at the beginning of the game kind of cheapens her struggle because it's like yeah, she walks away from it. Yeah, it's never even addressed again. It's like this metal rod, like stabbed her straight through the stomach. Right. Uh, and and then she goes on and like does all these deathifying things. It's like you're you're almost trivializing her suffering when you visit this crap on her, and then she just kind of like shrugs it off. You know. Yeah. That, like, that, make that, it make it mean something if you're going to go that far. It was definitely like a year or so of people getting stabbed in the gut and walking it off. Yeah, yeah. Well, so a lot of other games have been guilty of that lately. Uh, oh yeah, I got fast travel. Uh, uh, with that being said, I really like this game. Yeah, it's it's a it's definitely a very good game. Here's something that they've added. I hope I can get to it from here. No. Uh, please tell me it's. Yes. Uh, unless this was unlockable in the the base game or the original game, and I didn't know about it, I think this stuff is new. Outfits? Or maybe it's all DLC stuff? Oh, you had outfits in the original. No. Game. Are you sure? Outfits? There was like there was like a huntress outfit or something you got as like DLC. Oh, wait, it was DLC. Yeah. Or, or or that came with a pre-order bonus. Well, that's what I'm saying. I you know I didn't have a pre-order from the. I don't remember seeing any of the stuff in that game. Uh, there might be. Di are you saying outfits or the outfits that are in it? You're definitely able to change outfits, but uh, I don't know about the outfits that you're able to change into. Did I completely never pay attention to that? Maybe. I think I'm somewhere unlocked with collectibles, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe. Hey, I could be wrong. I've been wrong about other things, but. I I, I distinctly remember there being just all these. You know the weapons and gear stuff to yeah. upgrade here, but I don't remember this outfit. Category. Do you have an outfit that puts her in like a fur bikini or something? No. Well, I haven't gone through all of them, but what's the hunter outfit? Uh, that's the one I just had on. It's basically the same outfit, but she's all covered in mud and stuff. Okay. Um, well, new or not, yeah. Uh, this actually kind of alleviates one of my other issues with the original game, which was that they kind of insisted on having her in that that kind of spare tank top the whole game, you know, and in uh, fact we're kind of like chipping away at it. Yeah. Like even when she's up in like these snow-covered mountains, you know. Sure. She still... She, she puts a little shiver on in the beginning, but I think then she's right, like, I'm right. okay. Well, it's, it's another one of those cases where like, you know, you're trying to depict this character's struggle, but then she's basically impervious to anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, but the point being, like there are some less revealing outfits in here that I feel like fit the... <laughs> Okay, Dad. No, no, it's like it fits the Not tone. Not wearing that out of the house to go <laughs> raid tombs, are you? Stop right there, young lady. <laughs> no, I mean, if anything, it fits like the tone and the, and the sure. circumstances better. You know, right. like this something you could survive this, in. This looks a lot more like what an archaeologist ought to wear on an expedition. Yeah, you know? this fitted puffy vest that is form-fitting to her boobs. Better than yeah, the tank top. Exactly. Uh, you would actually have to like sew that out, like I don't the know. chest cavity. Maybe. You know what I actually like is uh, well, yeah, I like that one. Like this sort of Indiana Jones, like 30s looking, like bomber jacket ensemble. Yeah, that's cool. When you were wearing uh, that before, yeah. I, I couldn't remember. I thought this was what she was wearing. Uh, yeah, it blends in. Like, well, like now they're done right. playing dress up in the definitive edition. What Fun. else is there? So, native uh, 1080. Uh, yeah. How's your frame rate been? Uh, it's fine. It's weird. Uh, hang on, let me kill these guys. Oh, you want me to distract? 
Rachel. What happens if I shoot the lantern? You hear something? You hear something? Huh. Just a broken air. Oh, uh, hey man, are you okay? <laughs> no sleeping. <laughs> oh, come on. You hear something? Oh. Yeah, these guys just go down with an arrow to the shoulder. Yep. Now I got a gun. Uh, yeah, so, uh, oh god, I feel sneeze coming on. It's not gonna be good. I gotta know you're here. Just fuck yourself for a second. Uh, I, yeah, so I like this game. I thought the last, you know, half hour to 45 minutes really started getting, it, it, it kind of started uh, wiping away a lot of the things I really liked about yeah, the game. Yeah, it does, the story goes a little off the rails towards the end. And replacing it with, like, kind of narrative nonsense. Yeah, some stuff out of left field toward toward the end of this. I mean, I, I definitely, I definitely like where they leave her as a character, and, like, it makes me... Optimistic for uh, you know more, sure. more Tomb Raider games. Yeah, I, that wasn't my issue. My biggest problem with this game is I just wanted to raid more tombs. You just wanted to like uh, puzzle it out. Like they, I mean, they Climbing they puzzles. literally make tomb raiding like a mechanic, almost a collectible in this game. You mm -hmm. know, like yeah. there are a set number of tombs, and there's like a stat for how many tombs you've raided. And they're very short. Uh, that's the thing. They're very short, uh, and and there's only like I don't want to say how many, but there's a very small handful of them. Uh, it's probably a 30, 45 minutes game of the game tops. It's funny because like there's, there's there's no combat in there, and it's where all the really interesting like puzzle solving and and traversal uh, stuff is. I wouldn't say all of it. Well, not all. But like this town's got some stuff where you're, you're going to be like yeah. I just I, I wish it was less like murdering hundreds of people with guns and, and more of the exploration stuff, mm -hmm. like more like a kind of exploring exotic locales and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. We could switch over to the PS4 version if you want. Sure. Uh, so yeah, like this version runs fine. It runs at 30 frames a second, which is what oh I can't go back. This is what uh, it's what the original console versions did. Yeah. So you know it's perfectly playable. Um, but but at uh, 1080. Uh, you know 1080 30. You know it's like with it with a goosed up. Uh, if, if you don't know what you're missing, it's it's perfectly fine. It looks with the, nice. With a goosed up face. Uh, yes, and presumably uh, and tress effects. Still can't get that camera angle. The camera is just too high when you get it up against the wall. Yeah, it's, bro. That's kind of everyone kind of get it. I don't yeah, know. Something, anyway, something let's uh, let's switch over to the PS4 version and, and check that one out. Uh, Click for a couple of minutes here. Uh, so here we are. Uh, right off the bat, you can probably tell it's a, it's quite a bit smoother. It looks um, yeah. It's <laughs> it's weird when we did this for Saints Row that time. Yeah, it. I'm not usually one that notices 60 and 30 uh, in a vacuum. Yeah. But like as soon as you put them up against each other. Yeah. When you go, uh, hmm. when you Some go practically side by side like that, it's really striking. I mean, that said, uh, like the original story we were hearing about this game was like, oh, Xbox 30, PS4 at 60, oh, like rah rah console war. Um, but it doesn't, you know, it's not that simple, obviously. Like, it chunks up a good bit in some places. Hmm. You know, like you can tell, it's very smooth it's over not, here. And then locked. all of a sudden, it's not yeah. remotely smooth like it is. As soon as the building comes this in. This way. Yeah. It's that old PC thing of, like, getting a corner, and everything is completely, perfectly smooth, you know, but then you start drawing more stuff, and it's not as good. Yeah. Uh, it's running water there. What do you want, man? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Waterfall is the bane of video game frame rates. I mean, forever. you know, if you, if you have the option, you should def almost definitely should probably still go PS4. Um, almost definitely, probably. I, you know, hedging my bets here. Uh, but, I mean, it seems like what they did was just, just you know, institute a frame rate limiter on the Xbox, because it seems like it's just a constant 30. Okay. Uh, whereas here, they basically unlock the frame rate so that it's, you know, it's generally really smooth, except, uh, you know, basically the bigger woodsy areas that I've been in is where it kind of drops noticeably. Sure. Uh, that kind of common sense -y, like, more stuff yeah, here. Yeah, obviously. The more stuff on the screen, the worse it's going to get, but, uh, you know. Have you seen it go below a 30? On here? Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. So, yeah, it hasn't, like, just bottomed out. No, definitely not. Or on the Xbox, like, it's, you know. What if I just kill these guys? Oh, or not. Oh, that's go. probably why. Hey, hey, we got a survivor here. Well. Why are you doing that? Oh wait. <laughs> that was a, that was a full arrow pull. That you should be dead. No. Well, that was intentional, right? You wanted to show how this scene can play out differently. Headshot. Sure. Yep. Just giving them something different. Ah. 
Oh, can you melee in this game? I can't even remember. I think you get it later and you use like your pick. And right, yes, put it, put that's it, right. There are all those execution moves. Yeah, put them through people's heads. That's right. I she really up, gets over herself pretty quickly. I ended up using those a lot. Those were, uh... Yeah, she really does, doesn't she? Uh... You know, so deer is a gateway drug to massacre. <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, I you know I didn't mind that more actiony stuff, less uh, tomb climb and stuff. Really? I, I didn't mind it in Assassin's Creed Four either, where they kind of ditched the entire Prince of Persia stuff. Uh, Prince of Persia is climbing. You two, check that side. Quiet, quiet. I don't know. I mean, it's it's kind of half that it doesn't necessarily. How can I explain it? I understand. Like, I understand the sentiment. Like, like half of it is that you know it's sort of at odds with the tone of the story they're trying to tell to some extent, but also the other half is that I'm just kind of sick of just pop dudes killing guy, like sh shooting guys in the head all the time, constantly. Uh, like I said, I just I wish they had kind of aspired to more than than just just the, the combat all the time. Better mix, better mix of like puzzle solving and, and stuff. Would have, nice. have they announced that they're moving forward with the I don't franchise? Know. Like, you know, it was, a, it was a big story about, you know, they spent tons of money developing it and it took forever to come out and then did not recoup immediately. Hmm. I think they said, they just recently said that by the end of last year they had, uh, they had broken even on this game. Well, that's good. And turned a profit. So, you know, eventually it was successful. Yeah. Uh, and here we are with another uh, installment. So. Like, like I said, I, you know, I hope they make more because they're, they're definitely a good foundation to build on. Yeah, and plus, it, plus she's like she's established as a character in this in this milieu now. You know, she's right. Like if you don't the, need this the, whole the origin story has been handled, so you can get right into the tomb raiding and fighting dinosaurs. I could probably switch to the gun. You stuck. Um, yes, more dinosaurs, more tigers, and bears. When did this come out? Uh, it was like March of last year. March. Okay. So that's oh god. So it's been on, it's been on a little less than a year. So that's the other thing. This is a sixty dollar game. Uh, but it is less than a year old, and it does look pretty nice for the most. So what part. do you? How do you feel? Uh, tomb raiding aside, uh, is this the the forebearer, the tip of the spear for last gen HDification? I don't know. Are we are we here? Have we arrived? That's a really good question. Is the car pulling in? <laughs> uh, Everybody I don't know. get all every game from last year. Get out and I, I don't uh, know. Do you want it to be some stuff? Like what? Like hey, I'll take a Dark Souls and a Demon Souls on a. PS4. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold your breath for that. Sure, but you you, you know if you're gonna ask me the question, I'll take it. Oh sure, okay. Uh, I mean, I'll take any. You know what? I'll take anything that was an exclusive that didn't have a PC counterpart. Okay. Because last, because what I'm feeling like is, you know, this looks good, but I played it on the PC. It looked pretty damn good there too. Sure. Uh, uh, yeah, that's kind of another weird thing about this is that you know you can get the PC version of this for much less than sixty bucks now, uh, and and it's going to run smoother than this on a good machine. So you can't get that face. Uh, no, I think they said they're not putting this face back into the PC version. So yeah, I, I think anything that didn't have a I can do this. the opportunity to run better on a PC, you know, something like Bioshock Infinite, I'm okay with. And right, because there's a fantastic PC version of that already. Uh, although, you know, I mean, there are certainly a lot of people out there that only play games on consoles. Definitely. Like that, you know, that's that's who this game is for. You know, if 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 you don't have a good PC and you missed this game on the previous consoles, you should play one of these versions instead. Um. That's kind of all I got. <laughs> Last of Us? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I just played through that, but... Uh, I don't know that there are many games that I would go back and play again, though. No. I love this, more of, this is kind of more of an academic thing, right? Of like, oh, it would be nice if there was an HD, or if there was a 1080 version of Last of Us, even though I'm not personally interested in playing it again. Right. Uh, Gears. Yeah, Gears, sure. Ew. I don't know. How God's got nothing to do with it. How about Mass Effect? It's good to see you too. Oh. <laughs> Let Mass Effect rest. Too soon. 
looks worse than it is. I don't think I can go back. Yeah. But more Mass Effect, sure. Have you well, that's happening. Uh, so yeah, on the. Uh, on that note, yeah, like, I would love to see Wait, more Mass Effect, what are you but doing? the adventures of Shepard and Wolves, company yeah. can, can, you saying that, can rest. You're saying that Normandy sailed already? Yeah, also that was on PC as well. Uh, it was, but uh, in one form or another. I think the third one was not great. Like, it didn't have controller support and stuff. Uh, well, here we are, Tomb Raider, uh, 1080, sometimes 60. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 pretty smooth for the most part on the PS4. Uh, oh, any uh, like so, any uh, connector nonsense or Sorry, camera what, stuff? I forgot what the skip button was uh, here. Uh, it's got voice commands on, in both versions. Both? Yeah. Like map which is, or which is weird because like it hits you with the voice commands even if you don't have a camera hooked up on this version. Uh, any companion app stuff that you've seen? Uh, not that I like Smart Class or whatever. No, I don't, yeah. I don't think so. Uh, I think it's got all the, the like DLC in from like the multiplayer. Hmm. But I did not much care about the multiplayer here, so not really a primary draw. These ruins. Any touchscreen stuff on the PS4? No, other than like hitting the touchpad just now to uh, skip that cutscene. <laughs> And get to your map. Uh, you click yep. it. Yes. Kind of click. Can you hold. move the map with the, with the? Oh yeah. Yeah, you totally can. Weird. I, th I think that's where we're going with our PS4 touchpad. Yeah, I seems to be the thing. Can you zoom? Pinch the zoom or anything like that? I don't. I don't know that this. Yeah, you can. Wow. I wasn't yeah. sure if this thing was multi-touch or not. Well, there you uh, go. I'm a little. Hmm. Yes. I'm a little. I'm a little bummed out about the touchpad on this thing because I just started using my. DualShock 4 as my PC controller. And? Or I'm dabbling with it anyway, and the the homebrew driver lets you use the touchpad on here as a mouse cursor, like in Windows. Uh, but it's kind of not as precise as you would want it to be. So this is a little jittery. Hmm. It's not... It doesn't feel as good as like a, like a laptop trackpad, you know, so... It's not great as a pointing device. It kinda, no, it's it, not its intended purpose. Well, no, no, it's not, but I was hoping that it would work that way, and it kind of doesn't. Uh, Gotta wait for your Steam controller. Yes. <laughs> right. Well, should Leave we faith. wrap it? Leave Wah, faith. That's you always jump to the white thing. That's. Oh, see, you made it. She's okay. Didn't even open that critical wound she had in her <laughs> gut. Is that still represented in the outfit? She's got blood. Is that, the, like is that the blood, blood stain? Yeah. yeah, you can see where it impaled her, but she just kind of walks it off. And then uh, sewed back up. Just, yeah, just why even do that if, if you're not going to make it matter? Um, all right, well. Go to that bonfire. Yeah. Go rest at the bonfire. <laughs> Should I kindle? Yeah. Come undead. <laughs> all the enemies are back. Oh, damn it. Oh, all right, thanks, Brad. That's uh, Tomb Raider. Yeah, Tomb Raider Definitive <laughs> Edition. Like. Definitive Edition. So, yep. Uh... What have we not looked at here? Not now. It won't help. Competition style archery suit. Really? Yeah, you'll see it. Yeah, but don't have okay. it. Okay. Uh, I don't even know what that would look like. Cap. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. Is that like kind of? I was gonna say, is that like kind of Hunger Games or something? But I haven't, <laughs> I haven't seen those movies. Uh. I don't think. I don't don't they do like vests, tank tops, kind sure. of things? I feel like I've. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I could pop back to the menu if the you want. Is the Hunger Games girl? Katniss. What is it? Katniss. You know more about it than I do. And I've seen those. Movies. <laughs> Katniss Everdeen, right? There you go. I have not read nor seen anything Hunger Games. Hmm. Uh, let's just pop back to the menu. Make sure there's nothing else to discuss in our comprehensive rundown. Yeah. The, of the, the features, definitive edition. The definitive of, quick look of the definitive edition. What if you click on Raider. Square Enix? I don't think I want to do that. Is it? What do you I think got? It's just gonna be promotional community junk. Email unconfirmed. Uh, sorry guys. I'm just gonna, whatever. Uh, I don't know. Maybe some of this stuff is unlocked from the start. I couldn't tell you. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this thing is this thing is definitely you know intended for people who totally missed it the first time around. It's a cool uh, game. Uh, yeah, it's a good game. It's totally worth playing. So, thanks. Thank you! Vinny. Thank you, Brad. Ah, thank you, Brad. <laughs> thank you, Brad.
sure.